Hello everyone and welcome back to Let's Play Kingdom Hearts. Oh man. In the last episode, um, I went on a little synthesis fetch quest and I was gonna continue until I synthesized all the items. But it turns out we need some Gale. And we can only get Gale from the next world, so I guess we're going to have to continue with the story. Yay! So, um, yeah, what is going on, everyone? It's been a while since I've recorded the last episode. I just, today, uploaded, uh, or not today, but last night, uploaded, um, part 39, after, like, a uh, two-week hiatus. So, yeah, finally gonna go to this world with battle level, what, was that 10? Yeah. Alright, let's go. What? Oh, right. Yeah, I'm really disoriented here. I'm used to, um... Uh, in the past two weeks when I was gone, I was playing a lot of, uh... other Kingdom Hearts games. I was playing, uh... Re... Chain of Men Memories, Reply, Chain of Memories, whatever it was called. And I've been playing Kingdom Hearts 2 Final Mix. Now that's the Japanese version of the game. In the Japanese version of the Kingdom Hearts games, the functions of the X and Circle buttons, or Cross, whatever, the cross and circle buttons are swapped, so whereas in the English version of the game, cross is used to attack and stuff, and circles to jump, in the Japanese version of the game, it's opposite. Now, I adjusted for that and I switched the controls around, so I was switching them back, but even then, like, you know, in Kingdom Hearts 2, the analog stick is used for camera control, so I'm gonna be a little bit disoriented playing this game again. I should have done a little bit of a practice, you know, gone through the Colosseum one more time. Ugh, and I'm not... The gummy ships... Well, whatever, we'll, we'll cross that bridge when we get there. So, we're going into like an epic dark fire in the distance. I just love the... Like, I know I said I really hate the gummy ship, but this part right here is very ambient. It's very well done, I must say. Good job, Square. You know how to make an ending. I can give you that much. Alright, so, uh, yeah, I'm really recording this while I'm waiting for Farhad, and if you guys don't remember, Farhad's my guest speaker, you know, uh, and if you remember, while we were playing through the Hades Cup, he was talking to me about Diablo 3. Well, that's since come out, as I'm sure, unless you've been living under a rock, you're aware of this, that Diablo 3 has come out, and you might remember me saying that I've never played a Diablo game in my life, and everyone seems to think I'm a criminal for being that way. Well, here we are, at the end of the world. And at the end of the world, anything can happen. I could even buy Diablo 3. And that's what I've done today. Big $60 investment, I did it. Only because... Well... Only because Farhad said he wanted to play with me. Well guys, here we are at the end of the world. Sure as heck looks like it. Let's go. Is that all that's left of the world taken by the Heartless? Those worlds will be restored if we beat Ansem, right? You betcha! But if we do beat him, and all these worlds become restored and disconnected, what's gonna happen to this place? And to us? Where's Goofy? Goofy. <laughs> this is a Heartless world, oh. so maybe it'll just disappear. Huh? But no worries. Even if this place goes poof, our hearts ain't going nowhere. I'm sure we'll find our pals again. Yep, I just know that we will. <laughs> yep. Yeah, you're right. I'll return this. I promise. I love Goofy, by the way. He always knows the right things to say. And he's always consistently doing that. So as we're walking from these little islands, these dark balls fall on us and take us to another world. So here's where we're we were supposed to first meet the Invisible Heartless. But we already met them in the, uh, whatchamacallit, in the Hades Cup. So, I'm, man, I'm pretty strong at this point because I finished the Hades Cup by myself, solo, off screen. Didn't want to, like, be too repetitive there. So, 
I don't know if I already explained how to beat these guys, but like when they stick their sword in the ground, you just you, there's nothing you can really do to hurt them. So you just want to, uh, you know, when they have a dark circle around you, you just. Uh, oh man, why can't I open this chest? Oh yeah, I forgot. <laughs> I forgot all about how this world works. That that chest is this chest right here. So that's a power up. Items, stock, power up. I'll use that on myself because I'm a selfish jerk. So let's follow the way the arrow points. Look at those things falling down. And if you remember, the music that's playing right now is the same music that was from the beginning of the game, the awakening scene, when we were, uh, you know, those very first decisions. Well, that chest was a trap. All right. And this is what we're gonna be have. We're gonna have to do. We're just gonna have to be fighting here. So, and like I said before, uh, in order to finish the synthesis, we need Gale and the invisible Heartless Drop Gale, as well as the Angel Stars, which we will come across later on in this world. Uh, we just gotta hang around for a while before we're taken back, and then we finally get what's in that chest. Defense up. Now, I know I don't really need these, but I'm going to need them for other things. You remember those two things in the Coliseum that I didn't really check out? I'm going to need those defense ups and stuff for that. Got a Mega Elixir, and I think another ball is going to fall from the sky over here. Hmm, maybe not. Maybe this is a trap then? Yep, that's a trap. Alright, who's next? Oh shoot, it's a behemoth. Uh, so yeah, we can actually fight the behemoth outside of the Coliseum. He's not necessarily a boss. He's a big guy. I mean, he's got a lot of health. But uh, if you beat him, I think you get a mithril. He drops mithril. So if you need mithril for synthesis, you can get it from this guy. Another thing I miss is that in Kingdom Hearts 2, the magic is a lot more useful than it is here. You might remember before that, like, you know, if I use my, uh, let's use my Lizaga magic, it does absolutely no damage to this guy. I mean, it is a little bit, but it's so negligible that it might as well be nothing. So at this point, even if you chose a staff at the beginning of the game, uh, smacking stuff is still, uh, is still a better option than using your magic abilities on it. Unless it's something like, you know, gravity, but I don't think that works on this guy. So yeah, he drops a mithril and a, a ritual cum. A ritual cum. Still don't know what an ritual cum is. Probably should have Wikipedia edited. We get Omega Arts, actually. Ooh, ooh, Omega Arts. That's a good uh, equipment. So disoriented. Omega Arts. Raises max HP, strength, and defense. So let's replace our golem chain with that. Yay! Now we have a little bit more HP, you can see there. Alright, let's move on. So gotta get used to using the R2 and L2 buttons to change the camera. One thing that this game got good is like it made switching the targets a lot easier. In the rest of the game, switching targets is a nightmare. Like, yeah, to, I, I still don't understand how I'm supposed to do it. So, Angel Star, give me some... Give me some... Gale, man. Do I not have the... The, uh... Jackpot, or whatever it was called? The ability that makes rare drops happen more often? I should probably check on that. Alright, what's in this chest? Angel Bangle. What is that? Uh... Angel Bangle. Here. HP and defense. Nope. Don't really need that. Goofy has one. HP MP. Uh. Yeah, whatever. Goofy doesn't need more HP than he already has. But actually, let's check our abilities. Yeah, I do have Lucky Strike. Does Donald have Lucky Strike? He does too. And Goofy also has it, so pretty much maxed out for rare drops. 
I don't think there's any equipment that we can have that can increase that. Let's keep on going. Here we are. This is a trap, I believe. Oh, God. Imagine how frightening it must be to just have a face full of dark fart in your face. Alright, come on, guys. Let's go. You're going down. Alright. Now, oh, shoot. All these guys decide to do that. Alright. So, to avoid those little dark circles, you want to time your jump right so that it attacks you while you're at, like, at or near the peak of your jump. Are both my teammates dead? Yes, they are. Got a high potion? I don't need that. Alright, our teammates get right back up. In the classic Disney way. Alright, what's in this one? Defense up? I could do with that. Items, stock. Let's use it up on me again. <laughs> oh, why am I sounding all congested? This is horrible. Alright, this one has three stars. Alright, I don't remember what any of these equi equipments are. So let's check it out. Three stars. Okay, reduces all elemental damage and significantly raises defense. It's not going to do anything to help us. So, let's move on. I think we go to this one. How do we get to that one? Alright, let's go this way, I guess. This is a trap, I believe. Yep. At least I'm calling out the traps right. I don't know what any of this equipment does. I've been playing way too much Kingdom Hearts 2. I was playing the Final Mix version of it again, and like I said before, it's really difficult. Like, not gonna lie, I'm looking forward to doing an LP of that game. As for Chain of Memories, that game is also difficult, but for the wrong reasons. Oh, you can get a ritual comes from the invisible people too. Didn't know that. Alright, let's power up. Oh, so now we can actually go back to this one. Thought, yeah, here we go. Just have to, you know, there's invisible walls everywhere, so you just kind of got to feel your way around there. Uh, another trap. What's in this one? This is like the, the Wonder Ball. I wonder what's in the Wonder Chest. Oh, yeah, there's invisible Heartless here. That'd be a terrible prize to get in a Wonder Ball. Not gonna lie. It's like almost as bad as getting a Pidgey when someone trades you a Pokemon. It's like you don't know what it is. And it's like, oh, you traded your Raichu for a Pidgey. Level 3. That was caught in the beginning of the game. But uh, the person you traded to is probably not any better off because they probably can't use the Pokemon that you traded them for. I don't even know what I'm talking about. I'm going crazy. I'm just waiting around until I can play Oblivion. Or not Oblivion. What am I talking about? Diablo 3. What did I just get? Did I get another one of these? I guess I did. Um, have I used up all my AP? Yes, I have. Is there any of these that I don't need? Ah, I forgot. Most of these abilities are useful in this game. <laughs> There's a lot of, uh, cool but not, necessar not necessary uh, abilities in the second game. Oh, another one of these guys. Come on. Let's take him out, guys. Follow my lead. Oh dear. Oh my. Oh, nope. Square is Blizzard, not Reflect. There is no Reflect magic in this game. Oh. Owie. Alright. So, um, getting to the end of the wire here. I guess I should be a little bit more enthusiastic, but I don't know. I've done over a hundred videos. I haven't uploaded the hundredth one yet. I just finished editing it. And I'm just killing time. I guess I'm just anticipating Diablo 3. Which... Like, the only reason I'm anticipating it is because I dropped $60 on it on faith alone. I have no experience with Diablo, and... You know. I just don't... 
know what to expect, but I'm expecting something good and worth my $60. And I want it to be good to the end, no more Mass Effect 3 crap happening. But at least, you know, it's Blizzard that's behind this and not EA. And Blizzard, although they are a money-making company just like EA, they at least have some soul. I wonder where that Ansem filler went. Dive into the most dangerous place and we'll find him. Well, this place that we're at is called the Dry Crevice. Although they spelled crevice in such a weird way. So you got little, like, spider webs here. This guy is just... Ooh. The ambience here. So th this music, when I first played through this level, it actually kind of scared me. I was like, yeah. Kind of frightened. Can I make it there? Alright. So I'm going to jump from... Uh, can't carry any more of those because I already have all of the gummies because we got them all when we found all the Dalmatians. Uh, I'm gonna jump from island to island. Or actually, how are we for time? 16 minutes? Okay, we're fine. Ah, uh, you know there's some more ch treasure over here somewhere. Not sure where. Oh, treasure chests. Treasure chests? Oh, oh, there it is. There it is. Oh, poopy. Is there a way to get back up? There's a way to get back up, isn't there? Uh, not really. That's a way down. There's lots of ways down. Oh, treasure chest. And that looks like a way up. Can I... Oh. I'm used to triangle being to interact with objects in the world. Actually, you know what? These... Chests probably contain nothing too important. Or at least I don't remember anything important here. Let's heal up and let's take a leap of faith into the portal of light within the deepest darkness. Alright, this is really weird. What's going on here? Alright, so we got these uh, little green portals and blue portals. Blue portals take us forward and green ones take us back. And we have these little columns brimming with darkness in the middle. So we got nothing better to do than to just jump by it in. What is this? Traverse Town? What are we doing here? Oh my. Well, looks like we got some fighting to do. <laughs> We just gotta take out our some soldiers. Oh, some more people. All oh, right, that's right. You can't open chests while in combat. You need a sonic blade. Sonic blade. There we go. All right. Uh oh. Seventy-two points. Yeah. Die. Got ourselves our Potera chain. Oh my god, there's more of them. Yeah. Arkham. And we got ourselves some spirit shards. Alright. Before we move on, let's open this chest, see what's inside. A brave warrior. I forgot what all of this stuff does. Not that I really remembered. HP and strength. Don't need that. Well, let's get out of this world. Alright, so now you can see we've... What? Okay. Whatever, let's move on. And... We go into this column, and we end up... in Wonderland. This is so weird, too, because, like... the world, or whatever this place is, the end of the world... This is supposed to be the world that I've been left by the Heartless. Heartless. Ugh, I tripped on my own words. But, uh, this world still exists. So, what of Wonderland, or when did Wonderland get taken away? And if we leave this world, Wonderland will still be there. So will, it, like, the end of the world give it back, or... Maybe they just were inconsistent. But that's okay, I'm willing to work with that. A few inconsistencies here and there are good. Or, not good, but acceptable. As long as it doesn't 
detract from my overall storytelling experience. Get Ifrit's horn from here. Ifrit being the god of fire from the Final Fantasy series. Anyway, I think these are the copies of the unique uh, keychains that we got from the various bosses of the levels. Might just be it. Never really made that distinction before. Yeah. Forgot that although this game is great story-wise, the gameplay is relatively simple compared to the next set of games. So the gameplay, there's a lot of gameplay elements here that I'm not particularly like fond of. Like I'm not fond of certain controls and although the ability system and all that's great, it's heavily improved across the next set of games. Or the second game. I'm really comparing Kingdom Hearts 1 to Kingdom Hearts 2 because those are the ones I'm most familiar with. And I just keep like building up Kingdom Hearts 2. We haven't even finished Kingdom Hearts 1 yet, man. One step at a time. Get out of my way. Alright. Now, there should be a chest over here somewhere. There it is, behind the leg of that Olympian. Olympiad or Spartan? I don't know. Where is this place? It says the Olympus Coliseum. But who's coming to watch the games? I thought only the gods were allowed on Mount Olympus. Alright. Moving on. I think this is... The Deep Jungle? We're in the tent of the Deep Jungle? Oh no. This area. Alright, you little monkeys. Come over here. Alrighty then. Can't believe it takes me two hits to take these guys out. But I guess you can't be all powerful. Oops. Fell. I fell. Oh, I hit your little slingshot ball back at you, woman. How do you feel about that? So many monkeys. Hey! 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 Bad monkey. Bad, bad monkey. Stop locking onto that. Hey! Oh, the man trying to protect the woman there. Ha! Them monkeys ain't got nothing on me. I want to go this way. Can I go this way? Oh, there's three boxes. And I don't have double jump. Not that there is a double jump in this game. That'd be just way too fantastic, you know. Unrealistic. Double jumping? No way. We can glide, that's fine. We can jump twice our height, that's fine. But no double jumping. Nope. Nope, nope, nope. I'm gonna take a drink of water. <sighs> By the way, during the first cutscene of this uh, level, I, was, I don't know if you could hear it, but I was trying really hard not to sneeze. I just stifled two sneezes. And... Holding in a sneeze, that's probably why I sound so congested right now, is because at the very beginning of this uh, of this commentary, I just sneezed into myself. So I'm like, I got snot in places where there shouldn't be snot. Yeah, attractive, I know. Um, where's the chest? There's no chest here. Oh, come on, there's got to be a chest. Oh, I can go this way? That's cool. Whoa, you're not a chest. I never asked you to come here. Come on. You too. Go away. Attaboy, Goofy. Let's find that chest. God, why is treasure always hard to find in Agrabah? Shouldn't be this way. God, this blizzard spell is worthless. You're done. Alright, where's that chest? 
Come on, I know it's here somewhere. Come on. There we go. Alright. Ray of light. Can I go that way? Nope. So I'll just have to continue this way. I wonder if there might be a second chest. Wait, what? Hey! That was sneaky. Don't do that anymore. Okay. I can't grab onto the edge of that. I learned MP haste. That's actually a useful ability. Don't really need it. Uh, not that I, I don't even have enough MP for it. Critical plus. Critical damage. Do I really need that? MP recovery. Ah, oh God, I don't really need any of these. So I'll just keep critical plus, just for the heck of it. Ugh, it's awful. All right. There doesn't seem to be anything else here. It might be more heartless to fight, but yeah, we're wasting time. We are burning daylight. Let us move on. This glide is so slow. Alright, we're at, what, 26 minutes already? God, I gotta get through all these worlds real quick, then. Before I have to... Stop the video. I might record two videos at once. I'm still waiting for Fahad so I can play D3. Oh, right. Welcome to Atlantica. Okay. Alright. Dang it. Too powerful. Ooh, frost gems. My magic is too weak. Alright. Come on, are you? That's right, you're done. Get destroyed. Ooh, chest. Um, can I not open it? Open sesame? There we go. AP up. I'll use all this stuff at the end. Can I? Oh, it's blocked off. Let's do a little dolphin kick and get out of there. Moving on. <sighs> yeah, slow build up. We know where this is all going. Halloween Town. Wait a minute. Did we skip over Monstro? Is Monstro not even a world? Didn't even count? You know, there is actually the option of skipping Monstro entirely. Even though we did meet Riku inside Monstro, you can uh, skip Monstro and then uh, move on to, like, all the way to Neverland. The only required worlds in the second sector are, uh, I believe, because there's no keyhole to, uh, to seal in Monstro. Therefore, there's no navigation gummy piece that you need. So you just need to be... You need to get... Uh, only required worlds are Agrabah and Never Neverland, I believe. So if you go to Neverland before you go to Monstro, you uh, skip... The, none of those cutscenes with Riku actually happens. Something odd to note. Although they do expect you to go in order of the battle level, so... Most gamers will... Uh, you know, most gamers are standard. They go in order of difficulty. They don't start with their way from the top, like, oh yeah, I'll just go to the hardest world first. Seems like a logical idea. But if you're gonna go to a speedrun of this game for whatever reason, I guess uh, you'd want to, you know. I can't fly? Dang it. Looks like I have to use the regular glide then. Can I go in here? Oh, there you guys are. Camping set? Why on earth would I want one of those? Get destroyed. Is the chest in here? Nope. Where is that chest? Is it down here somewhere? Where is everyone? I know there's a chest here somewhere. Oh, this door's open. Okay, nothing here. Ooh, chest. Really? There was only like three Heartless to fight? How odd. Oh, 
Well, I guess we should just get out of here. Alright. And on to the last one. Which is green. For extra epicness. Level of epicness. Pink is like... On the epicness scale of 1 to 10. That pinkish... Although I had to tint... Wait a minute. What the... 100 acre wood? Well... That wasn't epic at all. But there is a save point here. If you wanted to save here. I think we can move on. There's still one more world we need to take care of, I believe. I just hope I'm not mistaken, because there's no path forward. So you know what? Just in case I'm wrong, because I don't remember very much of anything, and we've been going on for 31 minutes. I'm going to go back... I'm going to end the video right here. So, uh, thanks everyone for watching. Sorry my commentary is kind of, uh, dry and droning right now. It's just that I sneezed into myself and I'm waiting around. But, uh, stay tuned for more epicness. Until then, tune in.